What is up everyone? All right, today I'm gonna share with you a bunch of things I've been loving in the month of September. Also, by the way, it's like officially fall. I mean, by now it's like officially, officially, but it's just crazy that it's finally starting to feel like fall where I live, where it's finally dipping into like 60 degree weather and I love it. Jeans are out, sweaters are out, like longish sleeves are out. I guess this is kind of like springy, but whatever. It's so exciting. <laughs> I did want to take a second to thank today's video sponsor, which is Casetify. And I have a new phone case I want to show you guys. You're going to die. It's so cute. So if you have not heard of Casetify, they make my personal favorite phone cases because they're super slim, but they're incredibly protective. Their impact cases are engineered with two layers of their Qi tech and they're drop test approved up to like six and a half feet. So every time, cause inevitably I drop it daily. <laughs> every time I drop it, I'm never concerned about the screen cracking or it breaking the phone or anything else happening to it, which is so nice because phones are so expensive. And I just feel like they're more protective than a lot of the cheaper cases I've used before from like Amazon, but they come in so many different designs, you guys, so many different colorways and patterns and just just like things you might be into. Plus you can personalize them with your name or your monogram, you can get creative. There are so many different versions of cases that you can create on there, which I think is so cool. I have one of their compostable cases, which I think is so freaking cool. And I just have it in this light pink. I just think that's pretty. And I have my name on the bottom. Then I have this really pretty pastel star case, super protective and I just, think these colors are beautiful together. I also have my gemstones one that's like famous because every time I use it on Instagram, I would get a million questions where it was from. And then I have this one that has my name. I love the kind of light pink shade to it. I love that it was see-through. So my new one I just got is from their Disney collection. I know that my 15% off code, I'm gonna share with you in a second, works for all of the ones I showed you. I don't think it works on their like Disney lines and like those kinds of collaborations, just FYI. But honestly, you guys, I had to show you because it's so cute and they have so many different Disney ones. So if you're a Disney nerd like me, this one has Ariel all over. It just looks like little stickers, but then it's got like all of this like cute glitter within it. I love it. My daughter loves it. But what's cool is Caseify's antimicrobial coating keeps your phone germ free. It kills like 99% of germs, which is always great. Plus their impact and ultra impact cases are made with 50% recycled materials, which is so cool. So I'm excited to share that they are offering you guys a 15 percent off code today if you want to get your brand new phone case maybe you got a brand new phone like I know the 13 just came out maybe you just want a fresh case for your phone I promise you will be so impressed with the quality of these cases you'll feel good that your phone is protected but it's also still cute so you can get 15 percent off your new phone case today by going to casetify.com slash Jessica Braun I will have the link and all of that down in the description box for you if you need it so let's dive into my favorites and fails let's start with beauty items so one of my favorites I want to start with this okay it's this eyeshadow palette it's from Ulta and it's actually Ulta's brand and it's their everyday faves eyeshadow palette this is like the ultimate neutrals palette because it has mattes and shimmers but it's just such a nice array of colors and if you're like me and you just like it to look kind of simple and like a nice wash but you do every once in a while dip into some deeper colors you may really like this one. I use honestly like four or five different shades, but I just kind of mix it up. I definitely like the shimmers the most. I use those the most, but the mattes are so easy to blend in. It's just an easy palette to use. I feel like it's hard to screw up. I love that it's got a big mirror on it. It's smaller, so it fits in a makeup bag, even like a small makeup bag really easily. That may sound dumb to some people, but sometimes it's kind of nice to not have just like a giant honking palette. Like, Natasha Denona, I love this palette, but it's pretty big. You know what I mean? It's not gonna fit in every makeup bag. So it's like 20 bucks. So it's a little pricey when you think about like drugstore prices, but I think it's worth the $20. It's absolutely beautiful. Highly recommend if you like neutrals. Okay, this is one that totally took me by surprise. I was shopping at Target like a month ago and was like vlogging it. And I bought this kind of on a whim because it sounded good and I love it, and it's the highlight I'm wearing today. It's from the brand Winky Lux, and it's this cream highlighter. It's called their Strobing Balm, and I have it in the shade Bubbles. I wanna say this was around 20-ish dollars, so it's higher than drugstore prices, but this is the creamiest cream highlight, obviously. It's just gorgeous. It ends up making your skin look glossy, but in the way that I like. I don't know that this look is something everyone likes and you can definitely get a little heavy handed, like I might've put a little too much on, but I just think it's beautiful and this is something that I think looks really pretty 
in sunlight too because it doesn't have that powder to kind of catch on to weird texture on your skin. It's gorgeous and it stays really well because it does kind of eventually dry down, but you have plenty of time to like blend it in. So highly recommend if you can get Winky Lux. I really, really like it. Plus cute little packaging. So cute. Let's talk about my fail. <laughs> Man, I don't know. This is from Beauty Blender and I was like, I've never really heard anyone talk about this. I wanted to try it. It's their Bounce Liquid Whip Cream Blush and it's in Cheeky Pink. This is just like weirdly hard to work with. So I've applied it with my fingers. Today I applied it with the Real Techniques Stippling Brush, which is a great brush. First of all, you have to be a little careful with it because I feel like if I put it right on, which I did on one of my cheeks, it can be a little much, but it just takes a lot of work. Like I can apply it and then I'm like, okay, no, it looks a little patchy. So then I apply more and then I'm like, okay, that's too much. So then I grab like my sponge from my foundation and I'm blending it with that. And I just feel like it's a little more finicky than literally most of the other cream blushes that I own and most of them are cheaper than this. So I think that's my thing. Like I would absolutely opt for the Milani cream blush that looks very, very similar to this over this any day and that's easily half the price. So I would say avoid, I could see this definitely being something I declutter in the future. Which by the way, if you are interested in seeing like a decluttering video, maybe some videos, I don't think I'm ever gonna do like a big old series like I've done before, but I wouldn't mind doing like face declutter, eyeshadow declutter, you know what I mean? Like bigger groups, because I definitely could use a declutter. <laughs> like I could use it. If you saw my makeup collection video I put up, I can link below very recently. My collection has grown again and it definitely has a lot. Now, the good news is most of it, well, is it good news, Jess? I'm gonna say most of it's not PR, it's stuff I bought, but now <laughs> that I'm saying that out loud, I'm like, well, it's a lot of money you spent on that. I just love makeup, okay? <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, it could use a, a nice declutter. <laughs> I'm like blushing about that. I don't know why, <laughs> why am I embarrassed? All right, what is on my lips is, it's honestly, this line has been a favorite for a while, but I finally bought a new shade that I like. It's from L'Oreal. This is their shiny lip stain, I think is what it's called. I have it in the shade Be Outstanding. The reason this is magic, and I know I've talked about this a couple times, is because it is a stain. It does stain your lips, but it stays glossy. So I wore this to a wedding a week or so ago, actually a couple weeks ago, and it just stays really well. I'm never worried about it running all over my face. I can reapply if I feel like maybe the middle of it's wearing off, but it wears off kind of evenly, which is nice too. It's just kind of a magical long wearing product that doesn't make your lips look dry the way a traditional liquid lipstick would. So highly recommend if you're just needing something long wearing, but you would rather it look moisturizing versus dry, definitely go for this line. I love it. If you love this line, you have a shade you'd recommend. Let me know. I, I, I keep buying more colors, but it, it really is one of my favorite formulas ever. Okay, this one surprised me, like just sideswiped me. And I was like, wait, whoa, whoa, what? It's really good. It's from Lancome and it's a mascara. It's I think a brand new mascara called their Lash Idol. I really like it. This was sent to me in PR. And so when I finally opened it, cause I'd been trying other mascaras, I was like, all right, I'm gonna open it. I'm sure it'll be okay. But then I put it on and I feel like within one coat, it can look really, really nice but then that second coat makes it look even nicer. But it's nice that you have the option to just do the one coat and it still looks great because some mascaras you absolutely have to do two to three coats to get it to look, I mean, I guess this is a personal thing, but to get it to look the way that I want it to look. Anyway, I feel like I've repeated a lot of the same words over and over again just then. This mascara is really, really good. And so I wanted to mention it here, it's pricier. There are certainly really good drugstore mascaras out there I love, I talk about all the time, but I don't always give love to high-end mascaras because you know they're pricey and they go bad or they dry out quickly. Whereas like a pricey eyeshadow palette is gonna last you longer. Sometimes it's worth mentioning and this is a very good mascara, very volumizing. It separates, it holds the curl all day, no crumbling off, but then it still comes off pretty easily at the end of the day. Dry shampoo favorite. I know I, I may talk about a different dry shampoo in every video, but if you are looking for a dry shampoo, that's not gonna freaking break the bank. Cause I really like the Amika one, but it is pricier. I need you to come on in and listen closely. The Not Your Mother's Clean Freak has been around for a while, this dry shampoo. But have you tried the one with tapioca and particularly in the warm sugar fragrance? This stuff is magic. I didn't use it today. I did use dry shampoo, but I was using another one I'm trying out from Hask. I'm trying a lot of dry shampoos. But this one is just so good. And it makes my hair feel so clean and it smells nice. Like I used this last week and I you know, walked out and Tyler, my husband was there. He said, you smell really good. And I wasn't wearing perfume. I really, I think it was this. He said, it smells like sweet. And I'm like, it's my dry shampoo, baby. But it's really good. 
good. So I would say check it out. I had tried the Clean Freak Dry Shampoo years ago and I thought it was okay. And so I was excited to try another version of it and find that like, okay, this is the one I think is the best. All right, I talk about my itchy legs all of the time. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I do have like a mild form of eczema. So from time to time, especially on my like lower limbs, that's where it bothers me. So I bought this at the store the other day. It was the Gold Bond Eczema Relief. So it's a nice moisturizer for your body. It has 2% colloidal. I knew I would struggle to say that. 2% colloidal oatmeal, which of course is, is highly recommended by dermatologists from what I understand for eczema and dry itchy skin. I really like it. What I've been doing is just leaving this in my nightstand. So at night, I'm in my PJs, about to get under the covers, and that's when the itchiness really creeps in. So I will just literally douse my legs in this stuff, and it feels so good. I'm not finding myself waking up in the middle of the night scratching my legs, so very thankful to have discovered this, and I really appreciate that there's not like a crazy smell or anything. Most eczema products don't have a smell because fragrances could flare that up, but just wanted to point that out. So really, really enjoy it, even if you don't know that you have eczema eczema it doesn't really matter if you have dry itchy skin i think you'd like it now here comes the like random smattering of things i've been loving my favorite part of the video <laughs> so first thing is this bracelet so i had been talking about finding bracelets that don't tarnish so easily that i don't have to take off i just want to put on like two or three bracelets and just leave them on and know that they're not going to tarnish if i'm sleeping in them sweating in them showering in them you know what i mean it's not so much to ask okay so i've tried a couple brands haven't loved what i've tried so finally I was like, all right, I'm gonna spend a little bit more and I'm gonna try the Gorgiana, Gorgiana, don't know how to pronounce it, brand. So this bracelet here is definitely my favorite thing I bought because it's just pretty, I mean, I know it looks like a simple beaded bracelet, but it's shiny and I've only had it a few weeks, so I can only speak to that but I have sweat in it, like workouts and stuff. I have slept in it, which I don't think that really matters. Showered in it. I haven't noticed any issues put on like lotion with it. It's still nice and shiny, but I like that you have the option because the clasp is so easy to do. You can do it with one hand yourself. And if you wanted to take it on and off, you totally could. So that is why it's become my favorite. And I just think it's the prettiest thing. Like it's always the one when I look down at my wrist that like catches my eye. So I wanted to mention that if you're wanting like a bracelet or two, so far I've had a good experience with Gorgiana, however you know that. My fingers are crossed. It is pricey though, but it's not gonna be as pricey as like fine jewelry that gets like into the hundreds and hundreds of dollars, you know. I really should just tell Tyler, Tyler, I know what I want for Christmas. <laughs> Lots of expensive jewelry. <laughs> He's told me before though, he's like, I don't buy you jewelry because I know that I'm not gonna pick what you want. I'm like, oh, I can help you there. <laughs> I can send you links, no problem. These Nikes, so mine are dirty. So just bear with me, I need to clean them. But speaking of, if you know like what is the best thing to use on like white sneakers to clean them, I really don't know. I would just be Googling it, but if you like know of something like this is perfect, like Dawn dish soap, I don't know, is that something you'd use? Maybe, I put Dawn dish soap on a, a like pizza grease stain on a shirt and boy, that sucker came right out. I'm like, oh. Anyway, I don't know the exact name of these, but I will link the exact ones below so you know like what they are. These are, if you are looking for white tennis shoes that are like the trendy look, you can wear with like dresses and a jean jacket or whatever, or you can wear with skinny jeans, like it doesn't really matter, but they just are the right everything. These are them. They're not Nike Air Force Ones. I know a lot of people like those too. I have not tried those, but they are Nikes and it's just a different version, but I like these because I don't think they come up as high as the Air Force Ones, they're comfortable. The heel is not like too much all around. They're the white shoe I've been looking for. Do you know what I mean? Like every time I'd see it in pictures, I'd be like, dang, like, but they'd be wearing like whatever that brand is that's like hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I'm like, I'm not doing that. Like I, <laughs> those white shoes are definitely gonna get ruined. I cannot spend $400 on them. So those are awesome. I wanna say they were, it was like in the $60, $70 range. Maybe, I feel like I bought them for 50, but maybe it was like a sale regardless they're the perfect white shoe. So if that's what you've been looking for, I got you. Okay, another fave are these Target sports bras. I've bought all of the colors now. <laughs> I started by buying one, fell in love, bought another, continued to love, bought the other two colors I didn't have, and you had better believe it has crossed my mind to buy multiples of some of the others because they feel like, like when I've tried on Lululemon, Athleta, like all those expensive brands of sports bras, these feel like that to me. They're similar to the ones I've tried on from them, but I didn't want to buy because again, they're really expensive. You already know I love my Lululemon leggings and I will splurge when I feel like I have to, but sports bras, man, I wear them out. You know what I mean? The ones I was replacing were like needing replacing. Anyway, I really like them. I feel like they're kind of medium support. They're just extra stretchy. Like the ones I'd had before were kind of stretchy. No, no, no. 
they did not compare to the stretch of these. So I feel like if you're fluctuating a bit, they're perfect. I have a medium, I have a large. They both fit me and I'm not a super chesty person. I just feel like that that's what I mean by how stretchy they are. I just feel like they're super flexible with the sizing too. So I love it. They have black, like a neon orange, a light pink and like a lightish green. I hope they come out with more colors. <laughs> I really don't have a music favorite right now. I really like the singer Lord and her new album came out and honestly I did not know it was out. I knew there were like two songs out and some of you guys had like DM'd me or whatever and said like hey do you like Lord's new album? I'm like oh. so I literally just pulled it up. I'm like yep it's out so I, I need to listen to that. I don't know if I will like it or not but I, I really liked her first two albums so I would assume I would. She's one of those people that like the more I listen to her songs the more I get out of it because I think her lyrics are a little deeper than you maybe think at first glance. And I just usually the vibe of the songs I like, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. Book wise, I honestly don't have like one standout one to talk about right now. I've been reading a lot of books at the same time because I've been doing like an audiobook. When Tyler and I are like in the car together, we'll listen to the same audiobook. And then I've been doing like a physical book when the light is on at night. I only read at night, okay? So <laughs> I always have like a physical book I've been reading at night. And right now I'm reading like a one about like Disney World. And then there's like whatever I'm reading on my Kindle, which is usually opposite of whatever I'm reading in print. I know this is confusing. I don't know why I'm explaining it to you. <laughs> <laughs> like if I'm reading a novel on my Kindle, I'll usually read like a nonfiction book in physical copy or vice versa. <laughs> anyway, I know none of you guys asked for that, but now you know it. That is, I think everything I've been loving this month. I'm sure five more things will pop up, but I love doing these videos. I have a whole playlist of my monthly favorites and fails that I do pretty much every single month and have for years. So if you want to binge some of those right now, you can check out that playlist down below. Wanted to say thank you again to the video sponsor, which is Casetify. Again, if you want to get 15% off your new favorite phone case today, you can go to casetify.com slash Jessica Braun. Again, I'll have the link and everything down in the description box for your use if you need it. And I will see you guys at my next one. Bye.